Hello and welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the OLED screen settings on the Nikon 70-200 2.8S lens for the Z-mount series cameras. Now if like me you haven't taken a closer look at the manual or indeed had skipped it entirely, you might not know that you can actually change certain settings such as brightness and the meters or feet designation on the actual OLED screen. To do so you actually need to do it on the actual lens rather than in the camera. So this short guide will just show you how you can do so that. Let's jump into the settings for this lens. So if I press and hold the display button, you will get either this display that shows manual or feet, or you will get a display which is a little sun with two arrows next to it, like this. This actually shows you um, the current setting for the brightness of the display. Now, if I move my control ring to the right, you can see this is maximum brightness, and if I move it all the way to the left, this is minimum brightness. Minimum brightness is denoted with a line through the sun. So if I move the control ring all the way to the right, that is the brightest setting, and that's the one I'd recommend if you're going to be shooting in bright sunlight. Pressing the display button again, we're back to the meters and feet selection. So if you leave it on M, then you have selected meters, and that will change the focus um, distance indicator to meters and if I move it over to feet then it will change it to feet. So if I leave it on feet and hold down the display button again and I move over to the actual focus uh, distance indicator I can now move the, fo uh, the focus ring and it will show me those distances in feet. If I hold the display button again I re-enter the menu I can move the control ring over to the right select meters hold the display button again and now my focus distance display is in meters. So those are the only two settings you have and they can only be accessed through the display button rather than through the menu on the camera. So hopefully you found this useful. It's just a short guide on how you can change those settings, but if you have any other questions, pop them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to try and help. Equally, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.